let's continue on with our ode to badly traumatized, disturbed people, the mafia. So this is going to be a short one because uh, I don't know if you're following this, but what I'm trying to do is unload all these files I have of organized crime and so forth because I want to move along with uh, with my writings. And there's more to life than these guys. This is going to be about a guy named Ralph Anginello. Um, Raffaello. There's a different ways. I'm not Italian. I'm not going to pronounce it that way. He set up the mafia organization in New Orleans in 1868. It then had a massive uh, Italian immigrant community. A lot of people don't know this, but New Orleans was a port of entry from Europe. So it had a lot of uh, Irish as well, a lot of Irish immigrants there. Uh, and a lot of them built the, uh, dug the canal there. And um, hence the song, the theory of kill them all and so forth. Uh, anyway, he fell into a gang war, they always do, with a guy named Joseph Machia. Uh, it was a short war, and Angelo appeared to be winning. He and his brothers were doing a great job. But one day, he and his bodyguards, they were ambushed, uh, and he was killed in 1869. And uh, Machia took, took over. And we'll go into a little bit more about him as time goes by. Sorry this is so short, but I do want to do this in alphabetical order. Okay? Okay. 